Well, we have a follow up now as many high school seniors celebrate their graduation. Yeah, congrats to the grads. Of course. of course, we've covered several stories on the cost of college, though, and whether it's still worth it. A couple of months ago, I sat down with the new president of CSU in Fort Collins. She told me most of their graduates find good paying jobs and leave with minimal debt. Well, a viewer emailed me right after that interview questioning if a college degree is enough to guarantee success anymore. As the cost of living skyrockets, it's a new world for the class of 2023. What truly matters is the knowledge and skills you gained while earning your degree. That's Governor Jared Polis jokingly quoting ChatGPT in part of his address to CU Boulder graduates. But what is the real value of a college degree? It's top of mind right now for Colorado's higher education director, Dr. Angie Pachoni. We have in the past, we've looked at access. Who is who can come to college? Then we looked at affordability and say, how do they pay for it? And then we looked at attainment. Are they getting the credentials? Mm -hmm. And now we're looking really at value. And, and are they getting value? And what's the return on that investment? That's a question more high school students seem to be asking really themselves. Was. Taking a closer look at the numbers, Colorado just released data showing in 2021, just under 50% of high school graduates here went on to any kind of post-secondary program. That was down from just over 50% in 2020 and down from 56% in 2019. While the pandemic no doubt played a role, I asked Dr. Pachoni if the cost of college is a factor, especially as pay for no degree jobs is going up. Is there maybe a generational belief that college is going to leave you with a ton of debt? Yes, because so much of the uh, media does say that the debt is, I don't, I don't know how many trillion dollars, but what that number includes are students who are going to med school, to law school, to graduate school. So it includes not just undergraduate student debt, it includes all the professional debt as well. So the number is a, is a little bit misleading. If we just looked at undergraduate debt in Colorado, it's under $25,000, roughly $25,000. Uh, and only half of the students who go have that debt. Half the students who go to college in Colorado leave with no debt. Wow. Yes, but we don't, we, we're not advertising that enough. Connor Larson is in that category. He's graduating from Colorado School of Mines with only $8,500 in debt, a job already lined up, and a starting salary of over $70,000. But then he tried to find an apartment near his new job in Boulder. I looked and there was like a room in a house that was being rented out um, and that was like 1700 a month. He was able to find a place in Westminster, but says his generation is living a new reality. It's so common where people get out of college and they are still living with two or three roommates. You can't really buy a house until you're making like six figures, realistically. And that for a lot of jobs is not realistic or possible. Larson is confident his degree in mechanical engineering means job security, but can every college student stay the same? I wonder if students can still plan to go to college for, for, for two to four years and know that there's going to be a job for them. I still believe, and maybe, maybe it's just me, but I still believe that there's, there's other value as well on the college campus mm -hmm. than just what degree is going to get me the most money when I graduate. There has to be that personal fulfillment and satisfaction. Well, the state says 75% of jobs in Colorado do require some type of credential beyond a high school diploma. We will continue to follow up on this topic, so email us your questions anytime on that.